Right, hello folks, it's Tim, and uh, I've had a couple questions in, in some of my classes over the last year and uh, in some of the things that I'm working with right now, different groups I'm working with right now. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to go over a couple of basic terms because um, as instructors our goal is to get you so that you're marketable for the real world and my goal, that's my number one goal, is to get you marketable and to get you certified because the certifications are what's going to be able to get your foot inside the door to getting that job that, that hopefully will make you some money and, and make you comfortable in life. So the first question that's real popular is what exactly is VirtualBox? Now uh, there's several different virtual environments that we can work with. Uh, VirtualBox, uh, which is made by Sun, the same people that produce Java, um, it's open source, it's free, and it, it's available to everybody. Uh, the next one is Virtual PC, which is a Microsoft product, um, and it's also free, uh, but it has some restrictions. VirtualBox allows us to use our USB ports, where um, the last time I used Virtual PC, and to be fair, it's been a while because I don't, I don't care for it, uh, it has a few quirky things like all Microsoft products do, uh, so it's not the best one. I like to use VirtualBox. And the last one's VMware. Uh, the VMware player is free, but in the corporate world, a lot of times they have to buy a license, or if you're going to do any developing, you have to get a license to use it. So uh, th that's that's a downside of it. It's a great product. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it would be my second choice, but VirtualBox is is just such a great product. Um, why reinvent the horse? So what exactly is VirtualBox? Great question. Uh, basically, VirtualBox is a virtual environment, and whenever we use the term virtual in IT, think of it as pretend. Okay, so it's a pretend environment that runs on your host machine and allows you to run separate operating systems. So your host, all right, we'll show you the next slide. Your host is uh, this box right here, the, the blue box, all right, and that could be, let's say, Windows 7 and that could be running Windows 7. Uh, we, we call that the host. Uh, that, that's your operating system that you would normally use to uh, use your Word documents from or surf the net or whatever. And then what you do is you boot up VirtualBox and you create a pretend virtual environment and you can run XP. Now the idea here is, is that everything that happens in this virtual environment right here on this, this light purple or gray, whatever you want to call it, uh, everything should stay in there. Okay, so uh, one of the great uses of a virtual environment, and what I use it for a lot, is if I'm doing, uh, like, let's say malware research or something like that, uh, when I have time, that's one of my hobbies, is I look at what Trojan horses do and what the latest malware out there does, especially bots. I'm a big fan of bots. So uh, I can run that on here, and what that does is it isolates everything that's going on from my host operating system because it's in that pretend environment and yes I can establish internet connections with it okay so I can set it up so that I can also surf the web or do whatever you would do on a normal computer uh, which is one of the nice things now the other thing I can do is I can run several virtual machines at the same time and just for the record uh, running VirtualBox and running VMware doesn't work running VirtualBox and running virtual PC does not work okay so uh, if you're going to run it, make sure that you run the same application. In other words, if you're going to run virtual machines, uh, always use VirtualBox or always use VMware or always use Virtual PC. It'll make life a lot easier on you. So what I can actually do is I can set up a network and practice some networking things. Um, so that's one of the great advantages of using a virtual environment. So I'm hoping that that answers all your questions on that. Thanks and have a good day.